this is going to be a super craptastic video. I'm in the garage uh, freezing balls again because the abacus put some comments on Facebook or actually put a picture up of my haul for today and a bunch of people are seeing the abacus and asking me what I think of it. So I loaded this up which I always do with my arrows. I put it in my cob so that I don't ghost out any of my expensive ones. And I'm out here smoking this now. Uh, the first cult, the Blood Red Moon cult, which is the cherry version, I really liked. It's a supernatural cherry flavor in that one, so I figured I'd give this a shot uh, because it was, uh, I just found out it just got released. So my tin came. I cracked into it. Probably should have let it dry out a little bit, but This stuff is freaking delicious. The review or the tin uh, note that it has uh, vanilla, cocoa, I don't know what kind of nuts. I taste the combination of the cocoa. It is, it is a subtle. Uh, it doesn't really yeah, it's just enough to taste good. A teeny bit of spice in it, though that may be the Flaming Hot Cheetos I ate probably 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I admit it. I tried to rinse it out, but... Anyhow, uh, so the new Cults Abacus is wonderful. I haven't seen any real formalized reviews from those of you with a better palate than mine. Uh, a more discerning palate than mine. I cannot make this bite my tongue. I have, uh, because it's cold out here and people wanted me to tell them what I thought of this, uh, have been smoking the hell out of this stuff. Just puff out, just loading up on it. And I'm not getting any bite at all. Uh, it's hard to put into words how sort of subtle the flavors are, but what I've noticed on these cult blends is the flavors in them are just natural tasting. They don't have that chemical Chemical taste of a lot of other uh, arrows. Uh, it's not a forced flavor. It's just sort of, it's there and it's pleasant. There's a sweet uh, aftertaste to it. It's, it's wonderful. If you're looking for an arrow that's not going to overwhelm you with, uh, with sugary goop flavorings, uh, this may be the one for you. Now, this is my first bowl of it. I just busted the tin. Uh, again, because I was in a hurry to tell people my thoughts uh, and to load up uh, Facebook uh, information for people to let them know what this thing, this stuff tastes like. Uh, again, it's from the Blood Red Moon Company that makes the cult. This one is called Abacus. I got it from Pipes and Cigars. I think it's about 10 bucks ish uh, for a tin. The little, little hint of spice, I, I, I truly don't taste the nutty flavor in it. Now, I'm only about a quarter of the way through this bowl. I believe it's a hazelnut is what I've read elsewhere. Um, so, this is the Abacus. It's brand new. If you want an arrow, you want something to give you a break from the, uh, the uh, I, I had a really heavy... Uh, Virginia Perique today, um, Cool Hand Fluke from Four Noggins, which is one of their bulk blends, which was a hitter for me. Um, and I needed something pleasant to back it up. Uh, so sorry for the suckitude of the uh, quality of this video, but I wanted to get a quick one up to let you guys know uh, what this stuff tastes like. I'd get a tin of it if I were you, give it a shot. If you're into the... Uh, into uh, the arrows, uh, you're going to love this one. This is definitely a good addition, so give it a shot.